seven and a half hours. Hey everyone, it's Simon. Today, I will be training like Jan Ferdino. Jan Ferdino is a professional German triathlete. He was born in 1981 and he got the gold medal win at the 2008 Summer Olympic Games. He later came back in 2012 but got sixth at the Olympics. After that, in 2013, he retired from short distance triathlon and became a longer distance Ironman triathlete. In 2015, he made history becoming the first triathlete, male or female, to win both the Olympic triathlon gold and the Ironman World Championship title. I came across this YouTube video about Jan Ferdino by Specialized Bike. This video was posted in 2011, so it was when he was still doing this short triathlon. With a gold medal in 2008 and multiple Ironman World Championship, we're going to train like him for one day. So Frodino did a 5.7 kilometer swim in one and a half hours, 3.5 miles, and then yards, which I will be swimming at 6,200 yards. And we're here now. All right, I'm 2,000 yards in, and then Steven joining me right here. Steven and I did two IM sets, so that butterfly backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle in that order. We also did some aerobic freestyle as well as a mini test set to see where we are. 10 100s on 110. We wanted to give it a go and see if we can make it. We ended up completing that and I averaged around 103 for those 10 100s, which was pretty good at this time after not swimming for three months. Alright, last one. Alright, 6200 swim completed in one hour and 15 minutes. Felt pretty good, honestly. Second day, second swim back after three months of no swimming. Go back for breakfast and then the next step is the 10k warm up run. I said one hour 15 minutes is actually one hour 45 minutes. For breakfast, I had a pouch of instant oatmeal, an omelet I made, croissant, multivitamins I take, and a Greek yogurt. First run of the day, um, it's a bit of a warm up to get, to get started. I wasn't really feeling tired for the 10k run, I was kind of energetic. Alright, 10k is done. A uh, little under 47 minutes. Heart rate was pretty high, uh, but I'm gonna grab my tripod and we're gonna do some drills, some sprints. After the 10K, I stretched a little, drank my protein shake again, and took a mini nap before lunch. This is also a killer ankle stretch, great for swimming. All right, time for the bike. It is 2.35 p.m., two hour. He did hit 60K. I might hit it, but I'm gonna go a little easier. And I have my bike shoes right here, the clip-in that I'm still getting used to. Sometimes I, you know, fall down. Um, it's a Specialized Roubaix Elite, my first road bike. Any touch. And then also the bike shorts, but I'm not gonna put this on top with a regular shirt like this because there's a pad that goes down there. And yesterday I was riding that for like three hours and now my groin 
really hurts. So this hurts even more. So I definitely need this bike shorts. All right, two hour ride, let's go. All right, we're coming up to 30 minutes. 30 minutes and coming to seven miles. Really starting to feel the fatigue now. And this. It's starting to rain, I gotta go back home. Maybe I'll just ride on my stationary bike for another hour. But I don't know if I, these carbon brakes can withstand rain. I'm not sure, I just got it. So I don't wanna like ruin it. All right, we are 53 minutes into the ride. It's really hilly, so I can't take this anymore. Very fatigued. And we're not even halfway, we're like more, a little more than halfway to the train session. We got like three more hours to go for the day. So I'm gonna just sit on this bike and then I'll, I'll keep track of my heart rate as well. One thirty four heart rate. Fifteen more minutes to go. I think I'll have a high cadence. I've been doing this like this tempo, this frequency for the past forty five minutes. Okay, we are done. Two hour bike ride. Average heart rate one twenty five. So in the Z two zone two area, which was perfect. Uh, it is raining right now but we got two more workouts. So we got like two more hours and we're already more than five hours in. Here's me doing some prehab exercises so I don't get injured. All right, it is raining right now, but we're gonna move on to our run set. Ferdino did two times two kilometers hill. So this is my hill. Let's go all the way up there. Each one is 0.5 kilometers. We're gonna do that eight times, so that equals four kilometers. Let's go ahead and start this workout. First rep is done. 160 ish heart, 160 ish heart rate. And then now we go back down the hill, do that seven more times. All the way back down. I'm gonna start jogging. Number eight is done. And uh, I'm soaked. I'm gonna jog back home. Eat some dinner. And then one more run set. So I average like 168 to 169 heart rate. I feel like I'm having like a shin splint. Been running on the sidewalk and road. My lower legs are really in pain, but I got 2400s left. We gotta finish this. All right, the rain has stopped. It is 7.45 p.m and we're gonna do our last workout of the day. Ferdino did uh, 400 at race pace, I'm assuming 10K pace, around 69 seconds to 70 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is run best average for those 20 on 115. So run for one, one minute, 15 seconds, and then walk slash jog for one minute, do that 20 times, that's the workout. Four done, 16 to go, it started raining again. All right, we are halfway done. 10 rounds in, 10 rounds to go. I'm just running down, down and back. So sometimes this is uphill, sometimes it's downhill. So 10 more to go and then we are done. It's 45 minutes, all nice and wet. That's the workout. 2 minutes 15 per round, 20 rounds. So that equals to 45 minutes. We're all done for the day. I'm gonna take a shower, 
get dressed, go inside, and do a quick analysis before the video ends. A little recap, first in the morning we did a two hour swim. After breakfast, one hour, 10K run, and some drills and sprint. In the afternoon, a two hour bike ride, right into a 45 minute hill session. After dinner, we did 45 minutes of some pace and active recovery set. We also have to account for like the dynamic stretches and the stretches after working out. That may take, let's say, one hour for the day because at, before the swim, before the run, before the bike, just loosen up the body a little and then after the workout, you got to massage, roll out, and stretch as well. So today I took seven and a half hours of working at the triathlon skill. That's what it takes to achieve at a high level, seven and a half hours. I feel great. Tomorrow is rest for me. And thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys later.